<laughs> I don't know how much longer that'll go on. I'm also gonna um I'll keep the logo up. If not, I'll see if it's not blocking anything. Let's go see. Alright. If it's blocking something, chat, then I will uh get rid of it. Okay. It doesn't seem like it is. Which is good. Um, but yeah, we got about eight minutes to go before the Camcom showcase happens. So get your predictions in. What do you I think we're gonna see? What do you hope to see? Uh, I know it's the 40th anniversary of a lot of like, like Cam I think it's just Capcom in general, but a lot of IPs as well, which is pretty dope. So, um, let the anime squad know we're switching over real quick to the showcase. Oh, perfect. And then aside from that, we should be okay. But yeah, the ticking sounds kind of like cool. It's like not creepy. I like it. Yes, let's go check out the Camcom showcase. I'm excited. Should be some hype stuff. Um, a lot of good stuff, too. All right. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick, but I'll be back in time, obviously, for the showcase. So get your prediction in chat, and I'll be right back. All right, friends, we're back. The technique continue. Oh, I got to change the stream title. Hold on. Yo, what up, Charles? How's it going, bro? You thought it was starting at 530? Uh, I was two. Uh, but no, it starts at like six. Let me also, I'm going to put the, uh, right in, uh, I say gamers real quick. So that way people know. Um, I just may, hold up. I forgot to do it yesterday. Shout out to the homies for cover. No worries, though. You missed something? Nah, you're good. All good. Oh, they're doing a little preview showcase. Also, we'll see how volume is. If I need to turn it up, and turn it down. But yeah, I thought, I thought um at first it started at that time too. Nah, if you hear me typing, just give me a second. But yeah, at first I thought it was 5:30 as well, but um. Nah, it was like 3 p.m. on the West Coast. It was like 6 p.m. for me. Um, I was gonna invite, I know Miles and Wiz joined me yesterday, but I know Miles was working and Wiz is playing Final Fantasy 7. Not Final Fantasy 7, Final Fantasy 16 demo. That I keep thinking of Final Fantasy 7. <laughs> So predictions, y'all. What do y'all think Cancom is cooking? Because honestly, I have no idea. I would flip out. I would lose my like mind if they confirmed or was like, hey, we're going to do a Mega Man Battle Network like series again. Whether it's like a continuation or like the future version, I would lose my mind if they did. A monster hunter skin? Uh, you're not wrong. <laughs> I do think you might get like some new monster hunter stuff. Potentially.
My drink. Well, they could do Dark Stalkers, but I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, but if they end with which I don't know if they would do, but if they end, if I hear, if I hear Kenkom presents and I see Storm, Magneto, and all that, I'm gonna lose my mind. That's all I'm saying. It's, it's a lot of things that can make me lose my mind as direct, but I'm going in with realistic I expectations. I think this show's supposed to be 36 safe. minutes, which I'm not surprised, because Capcom's done a lot of stuff. Like, I wouldn't be mad if they were like, all right, here's updates to what we're doing. Here's a sneak peek at, like, two big things, and here's one thing. I want them to bring back an OG Dark Stalkers or Final Fight. I can see that. I can definitely see that. Dark Stalkers might have a shot. Final Fight would be kind of clean. Like a new iteration of it, kind of do. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. Um, I'm trying to look at Ken I, Mega Man is trending. People want Mega Man. You know, Mega Man Battle Network. I agree. <laughs> speaking of which, speaking of which, look at this. Look at the timing of that. Look at the time. If you have not bought this, buy this. I bought this game twice, and I kind of want to buy it again. This all does happen in the game, by the way. <laughs> yeah, the freaking base chip is so broken. Uh, program advanced, where you at? Got him. Also, if you play, get Mega Man 3, it's the best. It's the best of the series, so damn good. Right, let me make sure I'm on the live version. Alright, we're good. Also, them dark chips are a lot. I don't use them too much. But man, I freaking love uh, the art in this is dope. I want to get the art book of this. Uh, Cause Battle Network is just so clean. And these games so well. So I would not be surprised if they were like, hey. Mega Man Battle Network. Legacy collection. But they probably were like, that's it. That is such a good line. However, I need some updates with this. What we got? What's cooking? But we'll see. Um, my, my hope is very, like, realistically hype. We shall see. Yeah, a lot of people are discussing predictions. Street Fighter DLC preview, probably. I forgot about Exo Primal, which I wanted to check out. I did not sign up for the beta. Uh, I should have. For some reason I didn't. Devil May Cry, possibly. I forgot about DMC, maybe. Maybe. People think Ace Attorney, it could be. If it wasn't 36 minutes, I'd be like, Yo, this is a good shot. If it was like an hour, I'd be like, yeah, they cooked this on me. But with the year Kankos having, I could just see them being like, hey, that's it. <laughs> All right, so less than a minute remaining, y'all. Any more predictions, get them in. Because at 6 o'clock, they lock in. 40th anniversary of Kankos. Wow. That's wild. I think I'm like, what, technically nine to 10 years younger? Okay, kind of insane. All right, let's do it, y'all. Big show time. Appreciate everybody coming in. Thanks for joining. We're gonna watch the Camcom Summer's Game Fest live show. Should be about 36 minutes long, I believe, from what I've seen. So, good half hour break. And then after this, Splunky and Street Fighter vibes. But until then, let the show begin. Chills, y'all. Just chills from that. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Capcom Showcase. Right, let's see if I turn up a bit. Before we get started, we'd like to share that June 11th, 2023 marked Capcom's 40th anniversary. Let's go. Big four. A big baby. thanks to everyone for playing our games. It's I played that game a lot. <laughs> fans that we can celebrate such a milestone. We look forward to creating many more games in the years to come, mm. and we hope that you'll continue to enjoy them. 
I mean, I'll be making some quality content, so I'm there. Now it's time to show off our latest titles at the Capcom Showcase. Stay tuned until the end so you don't miss anything. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at this video. Okay, now I'm actually hyped to show off this game because I'm very interested. It's something about this game that just kind of draws me in. I'm just curious about the play style, but I like it. It looks so freaking dope. It's scary, but cool. <laughs> At the same time, it's so sick. I thought this was gonna be uh, Omi Mishu uh, yesterday. I thought so at first. I was very shocked that this seems like it's its own IP. But yeah, it looks it looks clean. Like I'm a sucker for good games that like visually appeal. If the combat is like awesome, I'm down to check it out. It just if it's a Souls game, which it might be, I don't know. I can't, I can't commit to that, you know what I mean? <laughs> Spelunk is too much of a Souls game for me as it is. See this game, the more I really want to play it. Traditional oh, okay. Japanese good. aesthetics going more come to like, life with the power of RE Engine. Experience a unique blend of strategy well, and action in this out, epic dude. tale. I remember when those a things were just yet on unsettling YouTube. world of mystery awaits in Kunitsugami: Path of the Goddess. Coming to Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, Windows, PlayStation 5, and Steam. Uh, They're like, yo, it's soon. Mega Man okay. X Dive Offline is coming to Steam, iOS, and Android. Okay. Well, that's my Mega Man news, brother. <laughs> it's a mobile game. It's all good. I mean, it looks hype, though. Lock, <laughs> which holds collected memories of the Mega Man X series, is under attack. Dive into cyberspace and using hunter programs to recover data like no before it's too late. Game. I don't be on my phone as it is. <laughs> my battery be dying. I can't play. Play it. as Mega Man X and other characters from the Mega Man franchise. Okay. Including characters that haven't been playable before. Yo! The homie Dark Mega Man? Let's go. Sigma. I'm not Level playing. Level up your favorite I'm not characters and equipment Sigma. to create a powerful hunter. No. <laughs> Power up your weapons and more to customize your character however you want. No. <laughs> Mega Man X Dive Offline. Okay. Control and develop over 100 different characters. Like, this would be dope on console. Play as a variety of characters, including new heroes created like, for totally Mega Man buy. X Dive. Complete stages and use element metals to recover memory pieces. Not Iris. Then analyze recovered it's memories to unlock soon. characters. I mean, it's been a long ass time, but it's still too soon. There are more than 900 stages to play. What? Challenging wow. mechanics you and enemies await on classic and new stages. You're bound to clash with Bro, familiar bosses so from the past. Build the ultimate hunter and save the deep log from total destruction. Cause this is kind of heat. Okay. 
Mega Man <laughs> X Dive Offline okay. launches in 2023. Sweet. Is this you, chat? It's just on a phone. Hard. Now, here's the Capcom Spotlight Corner. Okay. Yeah! A new era of fighting games is yeah, upon. Yeah, right. Street Fighter VI Play launched on little, June 2nd. a little soon. It's already received an enthusiastic welcome from fighting game fans around the world. I mean, yeah. Street Fighter VI nope. includes World I haven't Tour, even done world an expansive single-player story mode. Seems like a money pit. I agree. Fighting Ground. The core fighting game experience made even more accessible. Damn. And Battle Hub, a this social where space been, the where players time. from around the world can compete and hang out. Not the These are the game's this. three main modes. In addition, we're planning okay. to release new fighters and content, so you I can enjoy Rashid the game for a long summer. time to come. I forgot about that. Yeah, he's dropping soon, right? Street Fighter 6 is out now for PlayStation 5, Bro, PlayStation they were like, 4, I know you Xbox bought this Series game, X, Xbox Series but I'm gonna need you to buy this game again, dog. Don't miss it. That's it. They were like, yeah, it's out. Go play it. We also have an announcement for Capcom okay. Pro Tour 2023. We'll be thinking. This year's Capcom Pro Tour will feature Street Fighter 6, the newest entry in the series. Players from around the world will compete in regional matches and battle to be this year's champion. Good have money. To celebrate the launch of Street Let's Fighter see. 6, this year we have our largest prize pool ever. The total prize pool for Capcom Pro Tour is over $2 million, with $1 million going to first place. Yo, my cam is going to be Capcom Pro Tour 2023 oh, will feature three types of tournaments. <laughs> Online premieres, okay. offline premieres, okay. and World Warrior. The winners of each tournament will advance to the World Finals at Capcom Cup 10. Y'all gonna see me up there. That's all I'm saying. Stay tuned to see which player will crush the competition and take home this year's championship. Next, we have news about Street Fighter League Pro JP 2023. Okay. Damn, that's a lot. In Street Fighter League, the world's top players form teams of four and compete in official Capcom Team League matches. We have the largest number of teams ever. I appreciate the picking the, the heat. The opening match will be held on July 7th <laughs> and will be streamed live on the Capcom Fighters JP channel on YouTube and Twitch. Don't forget about the Street Fighter League World Championship 2023. The US and European leagues will determine the teams that will go on to compete in the World Championship. Let's go. Get up close and personal with Resident Evil 4 on PlayStation 5. You know, I'm the not going to do that. The main story will be playable in VR with PlayStation VR yeah, no 2. Yeah, no news. When Thanks is this to the man power of PlayStation arriving? VR 2, you'll be able to experience an even more immersive version of the game. I'm confused. Take aim as you fight to survive. Yeah. RE4's yeah. cutting-edge knife action is a core part of See, the like, game. This would be cool, and the PlayStation VR2 you know Sense I mean? Controller makes parrying even more intuitive. Like if I could just fight at a waffle Experience house. extreme survival horror firsthand. All right, how to... I'm not going to question it. <laughs> That's Resident Evil 4 VR chat. mode is a free DLC exclusive to that? PlayStation VR2. How? What? Well, they said, there you go. Now on to the next game in today's lineup. I've been hearing about this game. Yeah, no 2023.
Oh, I'm kind of sad about that, but you know, it's alright. I'm thinking 2024. Oh, they gotta postpone it. That was cute, though. It was scary, but it was cute. That's fine. You know, Capcom. Hey, you be cooking. Sometimes you gotta let your meals relax for a bit. Everybody be fine. It's almost time for Ghost Trick. Here's the latest on the game. Okay, now the more I see this game, the more interested I become. Because at first, I like wrote it off. Hello, everyone. But I like this. Game. I'm Shu Takumi, the <laughs> original creator of Ghost Trick. It's almost time for the game's release, and I can't wait for you to play it. But first, let's get set with this. World premiere, let's go. All these world premieres, baby. Oh, now I'm kicking him. Oh my god, the dog. Yo, the dog! <laughs> There's a demo? Alright. The demo for Ghost Rick is available now for download. Mm. The story says a lonely spirit named Cecil. In the course of solving his own murder, all right, demo he will well, change cool. the lives of all sorts of people in all sorts of situations. Things may seem unrelated at first, but each person plays a like, vital role in the heat story. The dog. And together, their stories no will give them the one <laughs> ultimate truth. So think of the demo as a doorway, inviting you into a great big mystery. Okay. It's been 30 years since we made the original game. Yeah, but Just like this game Sister, does seem familiar. I many new people, and there were many miracles that occurred during its development. I have no doubt these experiences are what shaped Ghost Trick into the unforgettable game of To the team that blubberingly folded this game, and all the fans have shown so much love towards it, I'm so grateful to all of you. Aww. I'm pleased that through this river, Ghost Trick will be available to so many more people around the world. Now, to wait for its release. Uh, and one more thing. Mm -hmm. I practiced very, very hard for two weeks for this appearance. So, she be me someday. It will make me very happy if it could speak in Japanese. Aww. I like this guy. He was real cool. Like, he, he, he was real dope. Hey, why is this music heat? Hold on, hold on. From the creator of the Ace Attorney series, Shin Takumi, this classic mystery game is being reborn. One night, a man named Sissel like loses just both his memory him. and his life. So Using cold. the powers of the dead, he tries to solve the mystery of his own death. The only clue he has is a red-headed detective. A night of mystery begins anew. A rookie detective brimming with a sense of justice. She too is being targeted, and Sissel witnesses her death. Who was I? Why was I killed? Who killed me? And what does it mean that I was given these powers of the dead? Use the powers of the dead to possess and trick items. The controls are easy. Connect Sissel's glowing blue soul to the core of objects to possess them. Possess the tire. Possess the bowl. Possess the star ornament. You can then trick the objects you possess. Trick the guitar oh, to play it. Here. What will happen when you trick the cart? Trick the door to open it. Possessing and tricking objects will let you access new areas. Sissel can go back four minutes before someone's death. What happened before her murder? Those clues are hidden in the past. I mean, it's kind of clean. I like the concept of this game. Follow past events in real time. The limit, however, is four minutes. Help people avoid near-death predicaments and change their fates. See, that's kind of dope. Sissel will face death in many forms. Changing their fates will change the story. And that story must be linked in some way to the mystery of Sissel's death. That, is that Phoenix? <laughs> Ghost Trick, launching on June 30th, 2023. Phoenix. June 30th, that's kind of cool. Demo version available now. Hey. Don't miss the pre-order bonuses. See the official website like for details. I was like, is that Phoenix, right? Oh, 
a second. All right, cool. Get that pre-order there. Let's play that demo. Now on to the next game in today's lineup. Right, what we got? What's cooking? Apollo Justice. <gasps> oh, wait. Objection. Okay. I'm not gonna lie to feel it. Right games are kind of clean, so I'm happy. <laughs> oh, so these might be remasters on a set of new ones. Cause I've never played any, but they seem so dope. Early 2024, too. That's good. In Ace Attorney, players serve as lawyers for the falsely accused, battle for justice in the courtroom, and uncover the truth. Now, the fourth, fifth, and sixth mainline Ace Attorney games are being brought together mm. to share the story of Apollo Justice and his allies in the dark age of the law. On Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, wow. Windows, and Steam. The colorful characters and courtroom drama of it each game good. have been relitigated in beautiful full HD. Available in seven languages Japanese, English, French, German, Korean, and traditional and simplified Chinese. Awesome. We've also added voice recordings for the new languages. What? Oh, that's awesome. Nice. We're sure there's no objection to everything <laughs> included in this collection. All right, you know Apollo what? Justice, I'm a fan of this. Ace Attorney Trilogy is currently in development for release in early 2024. It's going to be a doubt for me. Please look forward to more information about this collection in the future. Right. Next, we have some Capcom oh, news to share. Oh, here we go. Capcom news you gotta share. This month marks Capcom's 40th anniversary. As part of the celebration, we've opened a digital theme park called Capcom Town. <laughs> Take a stroll through the museum to view oh, original wow. artwork and other materials from various oh, titles so on display. You can even play a few of Capcom's beloved classics for free. What? Head on over to the castle to cast your vote in the Capcom elections. <laughs> I'm gonna be voting for a lot of stuff, right? Participants will receive a special reward, so don't miss out. That's kind of sick. I like that they're doing a big thing for the 40. We can't wait for everyone to enjoy these attractions. Catwood. <laughs> Along with the many other fun experiences we've prepared at. A Capcom ID account is required to play Resident Evil RE Verse. Mm -hmm. Our new upcoming title, Exo Primal. I'll be there. That looked dope. And to use the online features of Street Fighter VI. The Exo Primal game like is catching my attention. You can also use this account with other Capcom services and campaigns, such as a survey about today's Capcom showcase. We'll release more titles and services compatible with Capcom ID soon. Okay. Register now for Capcom ID. You do that. Get that ID, y'all. All right, what else we got cooking? Now for the latest on Exo Primal ahead of I next month's launch. I forgot that's coming out next month. I thought it was, like, coming out, like, a little Hello, later. Hello, everyone. I'm Takuro Hidaoka. The Dino the director game. director of Exo Primal. I'm excited to I share the latest Exo Primal news Pig with Pig you all. But first, let's check out this video. Because it's just, like, it, it's so cool. It's 
robots and dinosaurs. That's, that's why I love Horizon Forbidden West so much. Hello? I heard activity on this frequency. Hello? My name is Garrett Sands. Basically, the IP is Godfather. He was responsible for the entire Exosuit project. You know, Anchor Division, I assume. Mm. Exosuit I mean, developed play. right here. I need Exosuits. Oh my God, move our only shot. We need access to the past. Like, I'm hyped for the now. D is just waiting to be picked up back in 2040. Intact and hot off the press. The access codes to override Leviathan. You can shut it down. The whole thing. Oh, look how cool is it is! It's the dinosaurs! Heisel, the fuel I might be future. into this. All this time, Heisel is a side effect of time travel? Did they just choose oh out of dead dinosaurs? <laughs> dinosaur. At least we know why dinosaurs bleed blood. Lozol. Unrefined Lozol in the blood. But Neosol. I mean, look at this. It's a walking glove of stuff. Oh my god. I got a squad up with you. Look at the he you can cut. <laughs> what is that? Ew. My guy. I think this might be for me. I promise you this. I do need a price we'll tag. Way out of here. All anchor project files have serial. Look for anything starting with one. If the price eight, tag ain't too egregious, I'll get it. That's the project code for Leviathan's core. Okay, Doc. Oh, uh, gentlemen, I didn't get your names. Golos, the Hammer Higgs. Well done. Right. You fought desperately and survived. Oh my god. Trump? The perfect exosuit development Scare project me? <laughs> is near <laughs> fruition. Oh, Activating no. massacre module. Summoning Neo T Rex swarm. Alright, that is definitely. And this is all helping to make a better card. exosuit. I've ever seen one. Good hunting, Ace. Alright, you know what? I might be bought in. This one I thought I'm out, they bring me back in. Presenting my most exciting combat project. Beat up dinosaurs. Bro. Gauntlet. July 14th. Word on it. Mm. Okay. Okay. You might you might have me. Alright, you lock myself in game. I want that sword suit. Premium. Uh oh. Oh look, what's this? They showed a lot of stuff. This feels like it reminds me of Destiny. Play with it. Oh, actually, I do have Game Pass. What did you think? Good. That was a lot of new info. That was. Before we dive in, I'd like to give a huge thanks to all the players who participated in the open beta test back in March. We were extremely pleased to have so many participants. Plus, you gave us a lot of invaluable feedback. You got it, brother. We can't thank you enough. While only portions of the Dino Survival content were made available for the open beta test, today we'll be introducing more content included in the full game. Right. Let's take a look at what you can expect when Exo Prime I mean, launches on July 14th. Out soon, you know. Let's start with the story. Ace, the game's protagonist, is transported to the year 2040 and forced to participate in a never-ending series of war games. The story unfolds as you play through Dino Survival. The game's main like mode, gathering America, intel to update the, the analysis map, unravels the mysteries surrounding parallel worlds and the AI entity known as Leviathan. At times, you know, players will also <laughs> engage in special boss battles as mm. part of the main story. Okay. Dino Survival mode will also change as the story progresses. You'll unlock new missions with a variety of objectives, including 10 player co op, a multitude of dinosaurs to fight, and more maps. 10 player co op as well. The game That's will also feature people. an assortment <laughs> of unlockables and challenges. Well, why I need 10 people? How strong are these dinosaurs? Yeah. Modules can be used to enhance exosuits and modify active skills. These modules can be obtained by fulfilling certain conditions while you play the game. Okay. You can also personalize your appearance with a variety of cosmetics, such as exosuit skins, weapon skins, decals, oh, and emotes. 
The game also features a special five-player mission that changes weekly. Yeah, he's getting Compete it. with squads from around the world for the fastest completion times, or by earning awards through achievements, like okay. most damage block with a tank suit in battle. There are many ways to enjoy the game, even after completing the main story. We took your feedback into consideration as well. In the full version of Exo Primal, we plan to implement a mode where victory is determined by completing missions as quickly as possible, instead of direct combat with other players. I appreciate that. We hope you look forward to that. Now, let's go over all the new info we just saw in the video. Who was that new face at the beginning? Meet Dr. Signs. It's not Professor Oak. The developer of the exosuits and the head of Anchor Division, IBS's elite research group based on Bikitoa Island. I mean, it, it looks good. The space elevator that extends from the Anchor Division. I don't really do all the live services like Destiny and stuff like will that. Will also be a playable map. Incredible battles will unfold while exofighters and dinosaurs clash atop this massive space elevator. Players will even encounter dangerous mutations of dinosaurs, known as Neosaurs, the most deadly among them being the Neo T Rex. You'll need to work together with your team to stand a chance at taking them down. Oh no, is that a swarm of Neo T Rexes? What are Leviathan's true intentions? Wait, what's the deal with this new exosuit? That's what I kind of want to know too. I'm not going for it. While it may look I need similar some information to Deadeye, on what this is. This exosuit is a variant called Deadeye Alpha Burst Fighter. Unlike the default Deadeye, this variant comes equipped with a weapon that can burst fire or be used as a shotgun. What? Allowing oh, exofighters to okay. change their style of play. Give me this. <laughs> exosuit variants, including Deadeye Alpha, will be added in a title update the following the full version. The T-Rex is getting hit. At the end of the video, we revealed Savage Gauntlet, a mode that lets you take on special five-player missions. This seems like that a dream weekly. of mine, but I wish it was single player. In this mode, players can enjoy a change of pace from Dino Survival by competing against Exo Fighters from all over the world for the fastest completion time. More info about Exo Suit variants and Savage Gauntlet will be revealed at the Xbox Games Showcase Extended. Be sure to tune in. I play Xbox. And last but not least, we're excited to announce that we'll be holding a second open beta test. What? This time, we're including additional story-related missions, okay, ten-player co-op missions, because I can get not and other adjustments based June on everyone's 16th? feedback. Is it 18? Hold on. Check out the official website for dates and times. Okay. We hope you're all excited to try out this new content. Players will also receive a new reward for participating. Yes, Don't miss out. We'll continue to make adjustments to Exo Primal, leading up to the game's launch on July 14th. Thank you again for all the feedback. We look forward to seeing you in the second open beta test. That's all we have for you today. See you in the war games. It's going to be a ton of fun. I wrote that down because I might check it out, but I appreciate uh, Hyper on that. Next up is the last title we'll be oh, showing that's off. That's it. That's it. Two. Bum, bum, bum. Hi, everyone. My name is Hideaki Itsuno, and I'm the director of Dragon's Dogma 2. It's been over a year since we celebrated 10 years of Dragon's Dogma, and I can finally give you some more information about the new game. First, let's take a look at the trailer we revealed the other day. Look, I have no idea what Dragon's Dogma is about, to be honest, but I was very impressed with this trailer. Yeah, I will say I'm kind of sad there was no date for Rashid though, because the V is summer. He's gotta be soon. Like, <laughs> we 
fucking duel, baby. Like, I I'm betting, like, and late you forgot July. Him. You protected me from the dragon's flames. You need only believe in your own you destiny, a lion? Arisa. Of course. Like, I could be a lion, man. That question. If he's a mere mama, then where might our true Arisa? Empress Nadinia's life is in oh, your God. hands, sir, Arisa. Praise be. For only the sovereign's guidance can lead us true. Long live the sovereign of Vermont! <laughs> Man, summon a meteor goat. Mm. Like, I'm glad you obviously can fight dragons, but I want to be a lion. Oh, wow, damn. <laughs> okay. Well, hello. That is most unfortunate. Interesting, okay. Was that it? What did you think? Was I the action RPG game Dragon's Dog was, was cool. released in 2012. Need, need more now, videos. a decade later, I'm proud to share a look at the highly anticipated sequel, Dragon's Dogma 2. Today I want to talk about two characteristics that Dragon's Dogma 2 will inherit from its predecessor. First, Dragon's Dogma 2 will be a single-player game, but with pawns at your side, it will feel like co-op. Mm. And second, gameplay will feature action role-playing mechanics set in an open-world environment. Okay. In the Dragon's Dogma series, you embark on your adventures with pawns, otherworldly beings controlled by AI. Alongside the player-controlled Arisen, you can embark on your journey with a main pawn that can be customized to your liking. As well as up to two additional support pawns you can borrow from other players. <laughs> to form a party oh of up to four characters. I get to make my squad. We all pawns be are down controlled by the AI and are now capable of even more precise decisions than in the previous title. Helping you in the midst of battle. Let's go. They can also help guide you to new locations. Bro, we're gonna have the same outfits. Or give you a high five following a successful Let's go, battle. Homies. It really feels like playing in a party with other players. Dragon's Dogma 2 is built with the RE engine, resulting in a dense world woven <laughs> with high graphical fidelity. You'll enjoy a world roughly four like, times the size of the original of Dragon's Dogma, with more to experience than ever before. The characters and monsters that populate the world are given life thanks to the power of AI. Okay. And players will feel like they've been reborn in this vibrant fantasy world. You can look forward to a variety of vocations to choose from. Your vocation Damn. will shape your Arisen's role throughout the adventure. Will you take on enemies with swords? Magic? It's all up to you. Okay. We'll have much more to share in the future. But for now, I want to go over a few sections from the trailer that show what we've improved for Dragon's Dogma 2. Oh, sorry about that. Press the back. This game is designed to enable players to take on situations in their own way. In addition Whoa. to AI, advanced technology like immersive physics Damn. brings pawns, monsters, and NPCs to life. They have to beat up my man like that. What would happen if you destroyed that bridge or if you pulled that monster's leg? What other exciting possibilities can you think of? Well, I'm gonna be a lion, two man. characters so, pivotal to the story that also appear in the game's key art. Okay. Ulrika, a bow wielder with a deep connection to the Arisen, and Nadinia, a high priestess of the Bee Strength, which appear in the series for the first time. What destiny awaits? How will they affect your fate? The intricate relationships and situations you will encounter in the game are sure to keep you on your toes. Okay. During your adventure, you will come across familiar monsters from the previous game, as well as new monsters, such as Medusa. You can look forward to so new player hard. vocations and many new experiences unique to Dragon's Dogma 2. Okay. Please stay tuned for more information. You got it, brother. Thank you so much for tuning in. Well, that it? My beer chat. Shout out that dragon though, that's all I gotta say. Shout out to him.
That's it. What the hell was that? Uh, hi. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure. Can I take my microphone off? It's oh. okay. Uh, welcome back. Damn. I'm Max Scovel. Welcome to a very special Summer of Gaming edition of Podcast Beyond IG. They were not PlayStation excited. Show. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, um, you know, my thoughts real quick. Uh, we'll go back to the console stream. Uh, so I can say hi.